Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the amount of storage you can use for Linux apps on your Chromebook. Linux apps is much better than it was for a Chromebook a couple of years ago. So if you haven't yet tried it, I really would recommend trying to use Linux apps. It's best to install a Linux app store, which is very similar to the Play Store. I'll put a video link below so you can see how to do that. And once you've done that, it makes it much easier then to install Linux apps. So I've already installed a Linux app store. But for this, what I'm going to show you now, what we're going to be looking at, is how you increase the storage. Because storage on a Chromebook now is a lot more important than it was a few years ago because we've got Android apps now and we've got Linux apps now. Thing with Linux apps and Android apps is you can't install the actual apps out of local storage, so they have to be installed on local storage. So what that means is your your storage. If you've got 64 gigabyte storage on your Chromebook, if you've used up that storage on Linux and Android apps, you, you can't install any more apps. So the only other thing you can do is either buy another Chromebook or Chromebox with more storage or start saving files that you use with Linux apps, for example, in external storage. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just have a quick look. So I'll just minimize that and put that there. Now I have done another video and in the other video I showed you how you share your Google Drive and your downloads folder with Linux and they are already installed again. I will put a link to that video as well if you want to see how to do that. So if we go on to here, and what I'm going to open now is the a file manager that I open for Linux. As I says, I'll put a link in if you want to know how to download that, and that's here. So if we go to files. I've created bookmarks, that's the downloads folder, and that's all the files in my Chromebook downloads folder. And it's also got a link to my Google Drive as well, as you can see there, which is great. Now, in relation to that, that automatically means I've now got more space for stuff that I work on with Linux. But what about if you want to use external storage? So they're all using my local hard disk on my Chromebook, so that's not going to help with internal storage. The Google Drive obviously would, but what about if you want to do it on external storage? So the options I'm going to show you today are, here you'll see I've got Dan's Toshiba, one terabyte, that's a network attached storage drive, so it's a network hard disk that I've got, and Dan is also a network hard disk. So let's just have a look at this one, see what's in there. This one generally updates my main network attached. So there's nothing much in there, so that's fine. So I'm going to share that network attached storage this there with Linux. And this here, USB storage, is just a USB flash drive. That is relatively empty. It's just got that sort of system files in there. I think I've got it to show. No, that's fine. Okay, so that's USB storage as well. So at the moment, I wouldn't be able to use these uh, with Linux. So it's very easy to do, if I'm being honest with you. So all I need to do is right click on my USB storage like that. But it's how you use it in Linux afterwards, which I'll show you, which is, is good to set it up so you can easily access this data at a later stage. So share with Linux there. And that's then given my USB flash drive. And obviously you could do it with an SD card. I don't have an SD card. I have got some, I just couldn't find any available. Um, so you can do it with a USB flash, uh, with a SD card as well, sorry. So I've shared that. And I'm also gonna share my network drive there, share with Linux. So that now means that I've shared my network drive and my USB flash drive with Linux. So that is going to massively increase the amount of storage I have available for files that I work with when using Linux. So I won't be able to install Linux apps, but it's the files, for example. So if you're doing video editing and using a Linux video editor, then video edit files are going to be huge. 
So you don't want to be putting them on your local Chromebook storage and you certainly don't want to be putting them on your Google Drive because Google Drive comes as 15 gigabyte as standard. You can obviously increase it, but you have to pay for that increase. And video files are, are not ideal for, for cloud, if I'm being honest with you at the moment, because it, it's, it's, they're massive, they're huge. A video file could be gigabytes. So you, you, it's just not really feasible to do that. So with flash storage, and they're getting much cheaper now, and SD cards as well, you can get good size memory. But a network drive, you can, I don't know what my network drive is. I think it's four terabytes, and then I've got the Toshiba attached to it, which is an extra terabyte. So that's five terabytes. So it's really good for stuff like that and image editing as well. So I've shared them, okay? And then if you just close that down and then open up your Linux file manager, which is this one here. Again, to find out how to do all that, I've linked in the videos below. That go onto my other display, I'll just drag it across. Right, so here we are. Now, when you use the file manager at first, you may find it a bit difficult. It's a, a little bit more like what you'd expect to see if you've used um, Windows, perhaps. So here you can see my bookmarks, and this is what you want to do. So I've got the bookmarks for the download and the Google Drive. We now want to get the bookmarks for my network drive and my USB flash drive. So how you do that is go to the file system, and then you want to go into MNT, which I believe stands for Mount. So go in there, and then ignore this here. Go into this Chrome OS here. Now it's Chrome OS, yes, that's fine. I was just thinking whether you set that on the drive yourself. You may do when you set up Linux. So you may have a different one other than Chrome OS, so just be aware of that. But when you go into Mount and then whatever it is there, double click on there. And you can see here, we've got Google Drive. That's the one I've shared pre already there, my drive and my files. And now SMB, that's your network drive. That is your network drive. So if you double click on there, and that is the network share, go into there. And then that there, that you can see is the same as what is in that actual network drive. So if we go on there, you'll see it's the same information being shared there. So that's fine. So what you need to do then is go to, you're in here and then you wanna to go to bookmarks and you want to add bookmark. And there we go, it's added that. So if you click on there now, I, I do get confused about these bookmarks work and just check. Yeah, and that's the one. It's got a horrible name. You should be able to change that, hopefully. Rename, and um, we could call that NAS Drive if you wanted to. I'll just put NAS Drive for now, so I know that's a network drive. Didn't rename it, Let's try again. Rename, NAS Drive. There we go. I think it may be the kind of a space. So there we go, so that's NAS Drive, and then if we go back, so you just click on there to go back, go click there to go back again, Chrome OS, so we go back to Chrome OS, and now we want to include my USB flash drive, because not everybody will possibly want to do it a network drive, so this is a USB flash drive, you go to removable, so don't make the mistake of thinking that you would expect to see MNT there, because it's not in there. Let's go to MNT, Chrome OS, and it's removable there. And as you can see, USB storage, that is my flash drive. Now it's called USB storage because I've, I've named my flash drive USB storage. So it'll be whatever you've named your flash drive. So again, from there, you go into here. So this is the root of USB storage, what we can see here. And as you can see, I'll just show you that that's the case. If we go to USB storage, that's, that's the root of USB storage, the Android, Android. So just go to bookmarks, add bookmark, and there we go, you've got your USB storage as well. And adding the bookmarks is just much easier because then you haven't got to mess about going into file system, MNT, and all that nonsense. You can just simply click on downloads, 
my drive, NAS drive, USB storage. And the great thing about the, with Linux, with this, these bookmarks, they don't just work for this file manager here. So what I mean by that, I'll just show you. If I open up GIMP for Linux, and go to GIMP, just wait for that to load up. So from here, if we go to File, Open, you will see they're there as well. Downloads, My Drive, NAS Drive, USB Storage. So you can start putting data, or you can import data from your NAS Drive or your flash drive, and you can export as well. You could set up a folder if you wanted to. I think that's what I would do. So possibly in here, your USB storage, I would, doesn't let me set up a folder from there. But if I go into here quickly, go into my USB storage, new folder, I would call that Linux files. You don't, I think you can put spaces. I, I'm, I'm sort of quite old school when it comes to putting spaces and file names and folders. I don't really like doing it. Um, so Linux files, and then what that will do then is when I'm in here, just click off there and go back onto it, you'll see Linux files. So I could save all my Linux files in there. And obviously then you could go even further. You could put pictures, movies, stuff like that. So it's a good way of increasing your inter your storage for your Chromebook. And I think this is what you've got to do. The only thing you need to bear in mind is obviously if you're gonna if you're going to be saving files in on a flash drive, if them files are important and that flash drive breaks, you've lost all them files. So you will have to think about the backup situation. With a network drive, as I've got a NAS drive here, you, you that, that they're backed up anyway to an extent. It depends on what network drive you've got. Um, if my network drive crashes, I do have. This particular network drive, I don't think it does come with extra cloud storage. So if that network drive crashed, I would lose all my data, but I'm okay with that because most my seriously important files are in the cloud on Google Drive. This is how it is for now. But if with my NAS drive, it is connected to a further to Sheba drive, which is not part of the drive, so it does a back up to it so hopefully unless there was a power cut and there's a big blue and both out then i'll be struggling but that's something you need to be concerned about obviously if you're going to save files externally always think about how you're going to back them up apart from that it's a really good way of adding extra storage and i think with with with, with a with a chromebook you, you, your nas drive is fine because your nas drive will work wherever you are, as long as you've got internet access, you'll be able to access it, um, as long as you can get access to your actual home hive, home network, USB drive or a flash uh, SD card, that's fine with a Chromebook as well, because you can use them. Um, with, with a Chromebox, you, you could just use an external hard disk and use it that way and just plug it into the um, USB if you wanted to. So there are other ways of increasing your storage as well. As I says, you've just got to be careful about, sorry, my voice is going so well in this video soon. You've just got to be careful about what you would do if you lost them files. And that's what you should always think about. How bad would it be if you lost them files? And if it's bad, you need to be saving them in the cloud. Because a network drive, for example, you would have to look at different network drives if you buy network drives today, I brought mine quite a few years ago, but some network drives today come with, the, come with their own cloud backup system as well. So that's really good because then you are really saving your files in the cloud. Whereas with my network attached drive, and this is something you need to be aware of, it's just saving them to that drive, even though I've got them then to say to uh, an external Toshiba drive as well. So I think I'm relatively safe with that. I think I'm okay. All right, so I hope this video helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos because I will try and obviously make more um, videos to help people learn how to use Linux and everything to do with the Chromebook, Chrome OS, Linux, Android apps. Okay, thanks for watching.